are many stars in our universe. Imagine counting literally every grain of sand on Earth. There are only three times as many grains of sand on Earth as there are stars in our universe. That's a lot. Early humans looked to the sky and saw dozens of stars. But with the invention of mirrors and tubes, ancient scientists first gained a chance to gaze upon the true universe. These primitive scientists weren't as clever as modern scientists are, and were actually quite stupid. They hadn't even cured things like polio or invented hamburgers yet. Hamburgers? Seriously, you would think they had fucking priorities. Those old scientist nerds were huge fucking dweeb idiots. And scientists today, such as myself, are much smarter and far cooler. And statistically speaking, they have much larger penises. The shapes star formations take has such a vast array of possibility, it is literally impossible to predict what they will form. Like this formation here happens to be forming the number to my cell. What a miracle. Hack fraud scientists of the past used a series of mirrors and lenses to amplify light coming in from the far off universe in order to gaze upon the splendor of the unknown. Yes, that is hella nerdy. But it is much cooler now with space scientists like me at the helm. Today, handsome space scientists, such as myself, have far more advanced technology and the miracle of space-born exploration. The sciences of mirrors has become far less stupid and we have invented miracles of modern technology. Like the Hubble Space Telescope for my lovely mirrored bathroom shower. Built for two. Galileo wanted to see the stars. I wanted to see the underside of my ball sack when I bang. Galileo is long dead. I am the host of a documentary about space science. Who's the real scientist here? What did Galileo ever do anyway that makes him a better scientist than me? We have far more advanced technology now. If anything, a sexton is something I would perform on you, lovingly, in my shower, built for two. A sun rises over a mysterious planet like the birth of a new god upon a glorious day. You must be on the pill. Condoms are overrated and cramp my style. I am too busy spending money on space science for alimony payments. Seriously, Cheryl, stop calling me. I'm a scientist now. I am far too busy benefiting mankind through space science 
than to take Michael to practice. I mean seriously, chess isn't even a sport. He's a fucking nerd. He's not my son, he's your problem. Space is a series of ever complicated scientific mysteries that only people smart as myself could ever begin to understand. But a poked hole in a condom show, that is not a mystery. The court didn't believe it, but you know it to be true. You are not getting a penny out of me, you soulless harpy. Our universe is host to many breathtaking phenomena, but there is no beauty in its inherent vastness. Look at this bloated, overweight black hole. It was once a star that became so incredibly dense that it collapsed into a singularity. Or maybe it ate too many pints of ice cream after nobody asked it out to prom. Now look at this planetary ring, coagulating debris into a thin, slender, boy-like frame that's so scrawny and taut, I can't help but want to put my penis inside of it. Ew, another obese, disgusting black hole. I never want to be seen with her in public. Fucking disgusting, lose some weight. I think the universe is trying to tell us something we humans could learn. No fatties. Oh look, there's my number. <laughs>